Hi everyone, Claire Horner here for the Ice Resin Creative Team and I'm just here with a new video project for you today so I hope you enjoy. Bye! Today I have a quick tip for you for the Part A resin. At this time of year it is very damp and here it's extremely damp and it can take and what feels like a real hassle trying to get bubbles out of your resin naturally because of the dampness in the air and also trying to squeeze part A out sometimes it feels like you have to be some kind of strongman contestant or winner and I've got an easy way around it and it's something that I found quite recently just by trial and error um, by accident my other half put my resin on top of the radiator and this time of year our radiators don't get boiling hot they're just nice and warm really good for keeping your coffee hot and when I took it off the resin moves so easy in the tube and it was really really easy to actually squeeze out it was almost as easy as part B so if you can see on this one how it moves really slowly, really gloopily, but on this one it moves really fast and I've left it on the radiator for 10 minutes. Yep, yeah, you can see how it's going fast. And it's, it literally it works every time. And what I also wanted to try was when I was mixing it up, when it was really gloopy like this, because it was a bit cold, it was getting really, really tiny air bubbles in and they were curing in the resin. And that's basically because of the atmosphere, because it is a really damp atmosphere here. So I put the, I put the actual mold on the radiator and all of the bubbles were gone. It was completely crystal clear no bubbles, no in traps, anything in it. It was absolutely fantastic and again I only left it on the radiator for about five ten minutes and then I put it under my uh, netting to keep the dust off. So I hope that helps if you're having problems with resin where you live. I know this time of year when it is damp it does cause a problem when you're trying to make anything cure. Thanks for watching. Bye!